project I'm right now writing, writing a grant to get money for it. So if anyone's interested, like I said, hit me up on Facebook, okay? PSA, done. Thank you, Thomas. All right, so. It ain't gonna stay there, it's broke. It's okay. <laughs> Donate. So I'm gonna work out my daddy issues now, if y'all don't mind. Dad, my daddy issues. My father was the first man I ever fell in love with and the first man to ever break my heart. Oh, wow. Man, <laughs> so, um, this poem is called uh, 1991. I'm gonna come down here because I gotta move around because you know I got some serious daddy issues. <clears throat> I gotta remember the beginning of the poem. <laughs> I remember drunken barbecues, hungover holidays, absent and vacant spaces at school assemblies and plays. You see, you preferred women with easy hips and fast cars to slow Saturdays and kite flying with me. But Sundays were our days. Sundays were football. And from August to January, you were mine. And I sat patiently waiting, hoping that one day you would see me, this invisible girl you never wanted, instead of the sun you'd always hope for. I sat patiently, eagerly learning chop blocks, face masks, triple threat offenses, hoping that one day that 50 yard line would draw me closer to the first man to ever break my heart. Hoping that one day that 50 yard line would draw me closer to the first man I ever fell in love with. Do you remember? The year your favorite team won its division, it was 1991. You see, that was the year that Sanders ran for 1,500 plus yards. He said if they go all the way, you buy tickets to the Super Bowl and we go together. Just you and I. And next week, they lost to Buffalo. 1991, the year you left mom. And 1991, the year you left me. 1991, the year I lost my virginity and transformed from the little girl so desperately trying to connect with an absent father who longed for an invisible son into the woman I am. 1991, I guess that year we all lost to Buffalo. It's been some years since then. Even now, I still look for my trip to the Super Bowl. Even now, I still look for you, my absent father, and every unavailable man who breaks my heart. Even now, every January, I'm sad. Every relationship, I am disappointed even now. This woman that I am is still searching for a father who never wanted this invisible girl. I guess even now, I am still losing Buffalo. This is my warning to all fathers. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who loved her father. And one day, I grew up and got to know him as a man. 